this staff does not like off-road mode. Well, I say off-road mode, it's not in off-road mode. There is no off-road mode. <laughs> it just doesn't like being in off-road. Oh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. And uh, welcome to possibly the last, actually it is definitely the last vlog um, that you're going to see on this channel while working at Earthline. This, this is going to be the last video. Um, yeah, it's been, been a good one. I've enjoyed the last sort of six months with them. But uh, onwards and upwards to uh, new ventures. Now, we are in Andover at the moment, uh, and this is Chamel, Chamel Road. <laughs> Weird name. I've been here before, um, to Chamel, Chamel Road. Um, and the site we're going to, you've seen before in these videos as well, so... Um, if you keep up to date with my channel, then uh, spot the differences when we go onto site. We're just around the corner. But yeah, we've got uh, five runs planned out of here today to go to a place in Chittin. I think it's called Chitin, which is like a BA postcode near Warminster area. It's about a 45 minute drive there. Um, so yeah, there and back, including getting loaded and tipping is about an hour 40 turnaround. And uh, we've got two, uh, five of those runs. Uh, we're on our way to get our fourth run of the day. Now it's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. Two o'clock. Um, and we're only just getting our fourth one now. So I'm gonna take this back to where we're gonna tip it. Uh, and it's probably going to be nearly three o'clock then and that's sort of going home time so I don't know what the plan is after that they might send me back here but in which case it's going to be caught to four by the time I get back here to get reloaded I don't know have I worked that out right? I think I worked that out right pretty much so they might send me straight back to the yard from uh, when we drop this one off I don't know but uh, we, we will find out we will find out anyway let's turn right down here uh, so it wasn't that long ago, the last video was uh, down here. There was a digger driver that kept getting in the way, do you remember? Let's go around here. This is the site that's got the uh, the big 360 that loads us. He's uh, got a CV. <laughs> can talk to us. Right. I haven't seen any of our other drivers on the way out, I don't think. So there might be, there might be two of our drivers in here. Or not. Is there? Oh, I don't think there is. Happy days, happy days. No, oh, there's two lorries there, look. Part right next to where I want to be getting tipped. So, what is going to be the crack here? Where is my digger driver? I'm going to be well in the way now of everyone. Normally we go down here and spin around. Last time I was here, as in today, yeah, one more mate and that'll be it. One more mate. You all right, mate? Yes, mate, oh, half the last one. Uh, yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, I won't be back then. Yeah. Bye, back. Uh, it's at least an hour and a half turnaround. Just gone two o'clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. All right. I'll see what the office says. Because we've got to go past our base to get here, so I don't know. Cheers, mate. Bye, mate. Cheers, bud. Thanks for that. Right. GoPro, GoPro battery might die again because it's only been on charge for like two minutes. Um, Matey boy there was just saying uh, last load is at half past three. Well, it's like an hour and a half turnaround anyway. Minimum. Minimum. That's not including the traffic on the A303 by Stonehenge. Oh, yeah, we're going to see Stonehenge. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go get this uh, 
dropped off and then phone the yard up and tell them that they said half three. Oh, I'm really sorry, but the uh, the stone end is just back there. I was going to try and like talk on camera while I was going past it, but I was on the phone and couldn't get off. <laughs> um, yeah, so Stonehenge is just behind us. It's a bit weird though, Stonehenge, because like, it, it's just a load of stones, but I don't know, man. Like, you go past it and obviously you have a quick glance, and there is something about it. Like, I'm not religious in the slightest. Um, you know, I don't believe in God, I believe in science, but like, there is something spiritual about that, and it's just a really weird feeling. I'd love to go and actually see it a little bit closer. But um, yeah, for anyone who's not from the UK, who watches my channel, Stonehenge is basically a load of stones that uh, supposedly were brought over by hand um, by uh, someone. <laughs> I think I think someone said from Wales, I think, I don't know. But they're brought over from somewhere and positioned in a really, in, in a field essentially somewhere, middle of nowhere, because none of these roads were here then. Um, so yeah, it's just positioned in a field in the middle of nowhere. Um, and people do like spiritual things with them <laughs> so yeah a bit, bit weird bit weird but never mind um so yeah we're um we're almost at this place we've got to go to we're still about nine miles away but i just wanted to show you stonehenge or kind of show you stonehenge um but yes i was right earlier we're not going back to get another load we've uh, got to go do another pickup uh, at marlborough college so um there'll be another another pickup in today's clip and um and also in this vlog I'll be doing something tomorrow and potentially Friday as well, which will be my last day. It's probably worth mentioning that today is Wednesday. Um, so after today, after today, get my words out, after today, I'll only have two more days work left to do. But that's the car park for Stonehenge. So if you ever want to come down here, you, uh, you park up your car there and then there's some shuttle buses over there and they take you to the stones and you go and wander around and take photographs that look exactly the same as the millions of other photographs that people have taken and uh, yeah get back in your car and go home but that road that we were just on the A3A3 it was actually quite quiet just then but um, it's quite often rammed like traffic wise it's, it gets really busy really quickly um, it's not it's not great for traffic to be honest with you because everyone slows down and has a look but oh well never mind right let's um, crack on to the place where like I said we're about about eight miles away now, so see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are just outside where we need to be. I uh, just need to take a right hand turn up here, look. It's coming. There it is, where he's just come out. Just start indicating now. Might have indicated a little bit early, but never mind. <laughs> There is, there is a couple of cars and uh, it's a bit of a straight road so some cars try and do a little bit of a kamikaze and overtake you. Right. Yeah, I've never been to this place before until uh, until this morning. I knew that uh, Earthline had a quarry here, but uh, I've never actually been to it. Right, let's go and uh, tip this one off and then make our way to Marlborough College. I'm not quite sure which way to go, so I will need to uh, plan a route before I leave. Right, let's see uh, three miles there, so I think tip next to one of them. Let's see what he says. He's got a CV and he hasn't said anything yet, so let's tip it. Fired two more sheet up as well. There we go. bit quiet then because it got a little bit sketchy we start to uh, tilt a little bit so uh, just wanted to concentrate on the actual tip itself and make sure we weren't gonna physically tip 
Excellent. So what we're going to do now is I drove back up here. I'll um, I'll get out and check the back, make sure it's all clean, put the destination in on where we're going, and then we'll uh, we'll make a move. This dust does not like off-road mode. Well, I say off-road mode, it's not in off-road mode. There is no off-road mode. <laughs> it just doesn't like being in off-road. Oh, that was a big bump. Uh, tailgate closed and locked. <laughs> no, I'm not going up there. <laughs> Alright, uh, which way are we going then? Uh, back up the way we went, A303. Okay, so we, we're going to see Stonehenge again. You will arrive at your destination at 3.59pm. Shipped in Bellinger south, and then we're going to go through Tidworth. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, I know which way we're going. That's cool. Right, we will see the, the stones again, I believe, as long as the traffic don't build up. Go through the wheel wash. You see us, so you might just use it. Personally, don't think it's worth going through because it's not muddy. Uh, we're not taking anything out onto the road. But now we've got wet wheels and we'll be taking out the wet mud out onto the road now. <laughs> so, I don't know, never mind. Right, so, uh, oh Jesus, it's, about, it's a good hour before we even get to uh, to Marlborough College and then I don't know how long it's going to take to load and then we've got to get back to the yard as well so it's going to be a late one still tonight um, probably be like I don't know maybe half four quarter to five potentially by the time we get back in the yard tonight which is quite late quite late for us never mind right anyway let's crack on uh, let's make our way there see you in a bit okay slight change in plan um, I mean, we're still going to Marlborough College, but I've thought of a quicker way to get there rather than going up 33 past Stone Engine towards Tidworth. So rather than turning right here, we're going to go left and we're going to go via devices. Because I reckon, in my personal experience, not only is that shorter in terms of mileage, I reckon it's also quicker in terms of time as well. I reckon, I reckon we'd get there a lot quicker uh, going this way than uh, what we would if we went at the 303. I'm just really worried about traffic, that's all. Um, it's going to start building up soon. By the time we get to the stone end, it's going to be about half three, so I reckon traffic's going to start building up and it's going to slow us down. And then we've got to go through Tidworth, there's a load of roadworks through Tidworth, uh, where we were actually doing some deliveries there not too long ago. So I'm going to go this way, go through devices. Uh, yeah, I reckon it's going to be a quicker way. We we'll find out because uh, Satnav was saying, Satnav was saying that was a bit close then. For the third time, Satnav was saying uh, we'd get there just after four o'clock. It was like five past four or something. So bear that in mind, five past four, and we'll see what time we do actually get there. I mean, we've got to do 50 all the way. Uh, whereas on the 303 we do 55, so we're going a little bit slower this way. But I'm gonna bet my arm and leg that there's gonna be no traffic, next to no traffic. Don't pull out. Don't pull out. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, let's go. And hopefully we get there before five past four and save a little bit of time. Okay, situation report. So, uh, as you well know, we did not take uh, the route that the uh, Tom Tom was telling me to go. I decided to go my own way instead. Uh, in the hope that it would save a little bit of time um, and not only that but also not get held up in any traffic either so with no traffic uh, going past Stone End it was saying it would be uh, on site uh, I think it said 4 o'clock or 5 past 4 or something like that and um, that's with no traffic but I suspect there was going to be some traffic as well on top anyway we're just rolling into Marlborough now we're only, we're only a mile away from where we need to be and it's uh it's 20 to 4 <laughs> so i've saved a good 20 minutes by coming this way so yeah 
hats off to me. <laughs> right, we've got to hope, we've got to hope that I don't actually go past the place I'm picking up from. I have, I believe I've been there before once, when, uh, when I, again, when I first started, I was out with my trainer, and uh, he come here and he had to pick up a load, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same place. So I'm gonna go in the same entrance. There is a security gate. So, um, yeah, we might not even be able to get in yet. We seem to see. And then when we are loaded and we uh, and we leave and we go out of Marlborough the other way, uh, there might be a market on today, I'm not sure. So we get suicide commandos want to bloody come out and cross your road normally when it's market on. They just, uh, they don't care. They just dart out of the roads. So we've got to keep an eye on them when we, uh, when we leave. But yeah, hopefully we can get in and out in 20 minutes and, and then uh, we'll be out quicker than uh, what we would have been if we come the other way, if that makes sense. So we would have been in and out before we even got here if we went the other way. That's the plan. Anyway, guys in the office says it's after the bridge. Uh, you go over, go under the, the tunnel and then it's on the right. There's the low bridge there, look. Uh, yeah, he, goes, he said go under it and it's on the left. Sorry, but we're coming the other way. So it's actually before and on the right. <laughs> So we need to keep an eye out now. It's literally just around this corner, I believe. I think it's, yeah, I think it's those stone archways there. Not archways, arch thingy for jiggies. Did I say Marlborough College? This, uh, oh, there's a tiny digger over there. Oh, please don't say it's a tiny digger. Marlborough College. That is one of the worst signs I've ever seen. Oh, one of our drivers is coming out of it. Red on grey. Do I need to press a button? Is it open by itself, mate? Right, gotta push the intercom. One sec. Oh, it was opening before I even realised. Didn't even realise it was opening. Okay, we have days still open. Let's go. What do you do? Is that that dig on the right, is it, that we go to? Yeah, he was just saying it takes about 20 minutes to load. If it is that one, then it makes sense, because it's a small one, so... Matey boy's waving me around, so that's good. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little while. Last time we reversed up to that building there. Oh. Might have left that a bit late to turn in. Yep, left that a little bit too late. Come on in, go forward. Thank you very much. Ba, ba, ba. No problem, eh? Turn left and reverse in. Second gear reverse because uh, I'm not messing about. Cheers, mate. What's he saying? Don't know what he's saying. Right, we've got a banksman there. We've got another one down behind us. So we are being watched in. Digger's going to be on the left. Still going, still going, still going, still going. There we go. Better put the rod up. You alright mate, how's it going? Yeah, not bad. Just give us a sec, I haven't actually written a ticket out yet. Ah, sorry. I've uh, last minute to come here, it was. <laughs> Window won't do up, why won't you do up? There we go. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's just done for today in this terms of the video anyway, for today. We'll get this loaded. Uh, oh, actually, I'll show, you, I'll show you mobile on the way out, because like I said, it's kamikaze sometimes. <laughs> and uh, we'll end it there. So what I'll do then is I'll, uh, I'll see you in a minute. Um, it's gonna be about 20 minutes though for me. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Okay. 
And uh, another bit of good news, I've only got 11 and a half ton on. And uh, <laughs> digger driver's just come up to me and goes, that's it mate, all done. It's like, thank you very much. Let's put the sheet on. He goes, we've got to save some. I don't know why, but you know. So we're only pretty much half loaded. Happy days. <laughs> We've only been here 10 minutes. Um, wow. We got here, the time we got in is about, the time we got in is about quarter to four. It's four o'clock now, so yeah, maybe 15 minutes. Either way, I am not complaining. I'm hoping the barrier on the way out is going to open again, or do I need to get out? I don't know. I might need to get out and press the intercom button. Engine brake. Okay, engine brake is off. I must have nudged it. How could we get out of here in one go without cocking up the turn? I've definitely cocked up getting in. There we go. Should be enough room for both of us. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm hoping this barrier opens up now by itself. Should have asked the guy that was here before me. Is there an intercom? Can't see an intercom. Yeah, there is. No, there is not. No, there's no intercom, so it should open by itself. Yeah, boy. Thank you. Right, so we want to go right out of here. It could be fun getting out of here. Could be very fun getting out of here. We could be halfway in the road before we see anything from the left. It's a car coming on the right. Another one. Still clear to the left. Not clear to the right. Guarantee it's going to be clear to the right and then something on the left. Soldier's law. Right, there's something on the left indicating right. You can't. He wants to get in here, I think. He does, so he's letting me out. Thank her! And it's clear to the right. Good, 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 good. Bit of good luck, more good luck. Seem to be getting a lot of good luck in the last hour. <laughs> right, so this is that little bridge thing, tunnel thing that I was talking about earlier. Get an Arctic under there, no problem. Might want to hog the middle a little bit, but other than that, no problem. But yeah, I'm curious. Curious to see now whether there's going to be a market out or not because it is Wednesday and I know in the little town I was brought up in and Wurton Bassett I think markets were on Wednesdays there. There we go. Just gets a little bit narrow here, pinches a little bit like the road does, so just let him through. Carry on going, thank you. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a market, market look, but uh. The road is busy. What's that rigid doing? Rigid's reversing and he's turning left, so just go round and make sure it's all safe. It is. There we go. Yeah, normally you get people just crossing out of here out of nowhere, but worse when it's market. Uh, there's a couple of people in front now that they're just crossing, so I've had to slow down to not hit them. Yeah, on market days it's just even worse. People just come because all the markets are in the middle bit here, and they, people just cross. They don't even look. So, just all about keeping an eye out. All these cars on the right and the left could just move. Like his nose is out a lot. That car parks, but you know, what's that say? No parking Wednesday to Saturday. So something's happening here. Maybe there's a market tomorrow. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I ain't got a Scooby Doo. Okay. So yeah, that was uh, that was Marlborough High Street. Unfortunately, no market for you to see, but never mind. So yeah, that's going to do for today. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe Friday. Or I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, um, and uh, continue my last video working for Airflying. But uh, yeah, Wednesday done, pretty much. We're just heading back to the yard now. Two more days left to go, and then a week off on holiday, and then a new job. So yeah. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, welcome to day two, where we are currently getting loaded with a load of tarmac planings. Um, 
yeah, we've got to take this to uh, where are we taking it? Opposite Gable Cross Police Station. Uh, there's a compound there. Been there before. Uh, it's actually one of the last videos. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was actually in one of the last videos that I did, so um, uh, you might be able to recognise it. I think it might have changed a little bit. There's some buildings in there now, like little uh, offices and stuff. I, wasn't, I can't remember if they were in there before or not. But yeah, we're taking um, tarmac plane in there now, from here. Um, and then we're bringing back mud. So, so we've got, so we got back loads. And um, we've got to do six six muck away out of there today uh, and we've got four back loads but the back loads are going to different places so we are taking this one back there now but then we've got to come and get some sand in another quarry opposite the road and take them to two different sites one sec cheers mate thank you yeah so um one two three you're going to see three different sites today it's going to be interesting with regards to uh, the other two sites because I've not been to them before and the first one in particular there's uh, the way that I think I should go in and then there's the way that um, well the road name that uh, it says to go in so basically on the paperwork it, it says a road name and um, when you put that road name into uh, into Google what it's called Highworth Road in Shrivenham when you put that into Google you can see the site and you can see an entrance to the site but there's also another entrance to the site which I've got to pass to get to the other entrance so I kind of think I should probably try the first entrance first if they turn me out turn me around then you know so be it but if I go to the second entrance which is further away um, and I mean as in further away as in it's going to take me an extra five minutes just to get there because because of the detour you've got to do to get to the other entrance um, it's not just round the corner it's like you've got to go right round in a big circle to get to the other side other side of the site so I was thinking of checking the first entrance first um, the one that I think I should be able to get in anyway but just double check and if they turn me out turn me around and so be it I can go around the other way but if I go to the other one first and they tell me to come back, not only do I have to do the massive detail to come back, but when I get to the site entrance, there's no right turn. I then got to do an, an extra mile and a half up the road, turn around at the roundabout, and come back just to get to the left. So it's gonna it's gonna cost me a lot of time. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go in the first entrance, and if they don't allow me in, I'll just turn around. There's there's space to turn around. There's someone on the gate. So but yeah, we'll cross that when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. It could be interesting. And then the second site we've got to go to. Uh, well, the third site we've got to go to, rather, is uh, on Townsend Road. Townsend Road in uh, in Trimden. I've been there. I have been there before, but years ago when I was doing tarmac. So I mean, those, those like we're talking like three years ago. So the houses that I went to in the past are going to be fully built now. It's going to be another site, but on the same road that I went to in the past. So, but that's the Bova Homes. I know that. Um, but yeah, well, I don't know. We're just we'll see when we get there. But uh, yeah, that's that's the day for today anyway. So uh, time out plane ins muck away twice. I'm on the second run now. Then get sand delivered to the, the site. I'm not sure which way to go in. Then get some more muck away. Then get more sand delivered to the third site. Then get some more muck away, and then it's just two more runs of muck away need doing to the, the bag. So we've got we're down for ten and then uh, paperwork says phone the yard, so that's the plan for today. Anyway, I've rambled on enough now. Um, let's go to the first site, get this tip to get reloaded and then make our way back and get some, uh, get some sand. See you in a bit. Right, we're taking a left here. We're going into this compound, the beacon's on. And we need to get on over to the right a little bit so we can get in, gates are closed. It's very nice for them to close the gates. If they're opening up outwards this way, then we might be in trouble because I can't really go back any further. I'm actually on the road still a little bit. Just gonna have to come forward a little bit. I don't know why they closed the gates. I told them I was gonna be back in about an hour. Oh well, no biggie. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I know that that blue container on the right was there, but I'm not entirely sure that the the pink ones up in front were there. They might have moved or been put there. Bye, mate. Hello. 
So the tarmac paintings are here. So it's going to be a little bit tight for space. But uh, we'll be able to get on that, no problem, and then just pull forward. Might struggle getting another load on, but this is the last one of tarmac paintings I've got to deliver here. There we go, we're on the pile, but we might need to go forward a little bit. Excellent. Right, you're going to get noisy. My wife is going, it's very annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a little digger to, to my right. You might be able to see him in a second. I, when I first got here, I was like, no, please tell me it's not that that's loading me. But no, it wasn't. That was a lovely bang, uh, which means we are empty. Okay, now I need to reverse further back. And now we need some muck. Um, I don't think there's anyone in the digger. Those tail doors. Oh, there he is. That's the digger driver there. That should do it. Uh, we need to lift the body up so we can get away. How you doing alright? Do you want to sign it now, yeah? That can go there. I like getting the paperwork signed because it just means as soon as I'm loaded I can just crack on and go, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I put on the paperwork. What did I put on the paperwork? Time left, ten past nine. So it's nine o'clock now, so they've got ten minutes to load me uh, before that time goes out of date. <laughs> well, out of time rather, I suppose. But uh, I've got four ton on now already, I only need 18, so I, I oh, excuse me, I am not going to be here for 10 more minutes. So yeah, we've got to take this back to the quarry now, uh, this muck. Then we've got to go to a different quarry, uh, just across the road, get some sand and deliver to that um, that job that I'm not sure what entrance to go in. Uh, when I go past it in a minute, I'll, um, I'll show you, I'll show you what it is, show you what the crack is. But yeah, I think I'll go in... I think I'll go in what I think could be the right entrance, but possibly the wrong entrance, but it's worth just checking, I think. Otherwise, it costs me a lot of time, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get loaded. I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, so uh, the turning that we should take according to the paperwork for the next site is just behind me, so um, I could be cutting out all this driving, basically, and then another two miles up the road to get around. But, the entrance, I think, and I could be wrong here, but I'm going to try it anyway, is uh, it's just coming up on the right-hand side, so, yeah, I mean, I know I'm repeating myself now, but <laughs> if I went um, to the other side first and it turned out it was the wrong side, I'd have to come all the way back down here and then turn right here. This is the, this is the entrance on the right-hand side that I'm thinking I need to take. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Well, I don't know. It leads to the same site, put it that way. There's two site entrances here and here, here and there, and they both lead to the same site. And I think I can save a lot of time by going in that way. The trouble is, if I go to the other way first and it turns out I've got to go to this one, then I've got to come all the way down here because you can't turn right there. So I'll come all the way down here for a mile and a half almost just to spin around and go back. So, you know, that's an extra three miles of driving for no reason. Plus, yeah, it's going to be more like four and a half miles from there, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> right, let's go get this off. Let's go get reloaded. And I'll see you when we're back here, facing the other direction. We really don't know what to do here because the paperwork says highway through. Google Maps, it does look like there's a site entrance on Highworth Road, so I'm thinking 
of not going in this way and just go in highway highway road or whatever called yeah highway road for uh, and risk it if they tell me to come back here then I'll just have to come back here. But um, yeah I would, I would have thought it said uh, A420 but yeah it does say works access. We're gonna risk it. Gonna risk it for this gear. We literally got go on that bridge, upside that bridge, but we've got to do a big old circle to get there. Well, there's a digger there, and so Transit is, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just wait here then, wait for him to move. Turn this hands off, they're well annoying. Yeah, he wants it actually in that lay by. <laughs> Didn't 
go with what I wanted to do originally and go in that site entrance. Because they, um, no, my luck, they would have let me in, like, yeah, yeah, you go down there, and then I'd be spending ages trying to talk to them, like, or find someone. And then I'd phone him up, he'd be like, yeah, where are you? You're in the wrong place. So, it's only because the paperwork said Highworth Road, I was like, well, I'll go to Highworth Road first. And I could see there was a site entrance. It wasn't even this site, I could see. It was the one on the other side. So, uh, yeah. Lesson learned there, don't always assume that uh, you know best. Because you might not know best. I didn't know best then. Right, so now we need to crack on. Uh, that side, by the way, that was not me. I did not knock that side. <laughs> yeah, we need to crack on now. Turn the diggers off. Get, uh, get our third load of muck from opposite the police station. That was the entrance I saw there. It looked like it led up to those houses, but those houses have already been built by the looks of it. But the entrance on the A420 was the other side of that. So that's what I thought it was from. Never mind. Never mind, donkey. Right, let's crack on, go get this other load. Uh, I won't show you the site again, you've already seen it. I'll just see you uh, when we're loaded again with Shark Tank. And we're back basically just around the corner to live in Tap over his own so I'm glad we just saw. So, yeah, glad we saw that. Right, see you in a bit. Right, you join me now, uh, loaded with Sharp Sand, and uh, we're just about to, to make a left turn uh, and go towards Shrivingham. Let's go around here. So, yeah, because we've come over here earlier, um, we had a quite, quite a good look at the site, didn't we? From the outside, so I know roughly where to go. Here, well, I know where the entrance is. <laughs> I don't know where to go once I'm in there. What's he doing? Is he falling over? Or? Uh, he's got a guitar on him. I think he might be a street performer. Um, there's not going to be many people around here to perform to me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, we're just going to go around here now. Okay, here we go. We want to be turning left into here. Like so. Uh, we'll take a bit of a swing to get in. Where's the van going? What is the van doing? What is the van doing? I am going to struggle getting past you there. Some people just don't think. I'm a, I'm a lorry mate, I can't just... I don't understand why he didn't just reverse back into where he was going and then I could have gone past him, no problem at all. Right. Where's the sand going? Just gonna get out of the way of this person here on the left. Oh, this is gonna start doing my head and everyone is in now in everyone's way. I, d I, just, I just don't know what that van was doing. Like, right, wait for him to go and then I can go back. Thank you. Because I think I've got to go left, but I couldn't get down there because that lorry was. Just an educated guess that I've got to go left. Well, there's gates. And also, it does say site entrance. Never seen those gates before. Combination is. Uh, right, okay. Hi, bud. I've got a load of sharp sand for MV Kelly. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, 
back up here somewhere, mate. Yeah, drive down there, reverse up, yeah. All right, mate. Is there a code I've got to put in? Can't see a combination thing. He just like give them a beep and they're open it. There we go. And what's it about there? Okay. So reverse up though. Okay, it's a bit tight on the left. There we go. I'm not sure I'm gonna get out. Can I drive out of there? Might be a bit tight to get out that way, driving out. Give it a bash. Anyway, mate, boy, straight behind me. There we go. Hit the brakes a bit hard there, no mind. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. all the deliveries we've got to do for today that we're scheduled for anyway you can have a good old look yeah that's all the uh, deliveries we've got to do today that was a big old bang uh, we've just got to do the muckaways now. Um, we're down for six. We're going to go get our fourth one now. So we've got to do three more, and then uh, and then call the office and see what we're doing from there. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this turn. No, I don't think I'm going to make that turn. Might have to reverse out. Give it a bash. Hmm. That's gonna be very tight. We got it. We got it. Just very just. There we go. We're out. Uh, and it was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Still annoyed about that van. The van was just not thinking. We've got construction traffic that's trying to get in and out of places, and they just like sit in the middle of nowhere, thinking they can get you can get around them, sort of thing. But never mind. <laughs> Right, so, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of it, uh, the end of this day anyway. Um, yeah, because I'm going to do the same stuff now. So, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We've been to a few different places. Uh, three different places today and uh, one yesterday. 
Is there one just new to you? Can't even remember. Can't even remember. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. And uh, yeah, this is this is the last video while working for Earthline. So the next video you see from me will uh, the next proper vlog will be in the new truck. So yeah, stay safe, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.